My name is James Whitbourne. I'm a composer and I work in Oxford and I'm very happy to be here in Houston. Well, the idea of writing something from the diary of Anne Frank came from Melanie Challenger, a young poet at the time who was not long out of Oxford herself. She'd heard some of my music and she came to me with the idea of doing something. And it took us quite a lot of time, a lot of conversations to get to the point that we eventually got to of, of working with the libretto that we did. And the turning point of the whole project was when we were actually allowed to use the diary text itself. And the reason we got that opportunity was really because of the involvement of Anna Frank's first cousin, Goody Elias, who became a huge supporter of the project and really loved what he heard. He came to the first performance of the piece as well. So it was very, very special to have his involvement and it transformed the project and the piece from one thing to another. One of the exciting things that happened to this piece was that after it was recorded, the recording was nominated for a Grammy in the Best Choral Performance category. And it was one of the ways in which the word of this piece got out there. And of course it was also a great privilege to be recognised in that public way. 